This episode is brought to you by 1010. 1010 is an exclusive collection of 10 one of a kind engagement rings designed by 10 of the most distinctive designers working today. Using only diamonds responsibly and sustainably sourced from Botswana, 10 design masters have each produced a set of 10 uniquely beautiful diamond rings, and they're available now exclusively at BlueNile.com. This exciting collection of truly unique, limited edition diamond engagement rings is available now only at BlueNile.com. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, Episode 905, Morning Routines for Moms of Toddlers, Part 2, by Kara Harvey of APurposeDrivenMom.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Friday show. This is ORD, and I am your host, Greg Audino, back with you to finish up our post from yesterday, actually, on how to create good morning routines as a parent. Kara started laying out some great ideas to set routines for kids of all ages, and we're going to hear the rest from her today. If you are jumping in now, I might recommend you first pause and listen to part one from yesterday, but if you are ready to hear part two, then I am ready to narrate it for you. Let's finish up this post now and continue optimizing your life. Morning Routines for Moms of Toddlers, Part 2, by Kara Harvey of APurposeDrivenMom.com Morning Household Chores and Tasks I also suggest using your morning time to do daily household chores that make your day easier. For me, this includes starting a load of laundry, I am a load-a-day type of mom, and unloading the dishwasher from the night before. I also spend time cleaning up after breakfast, which the kids help with, and sweeping up the inevitable egg pile that my dog hasn't yet eaten. During breakfast cleanup and morning chores, I also gather our school materials, check the calendar for the day, and help facilitate the toddler's morning routine. Morning Checklist for Kids and Toddlers Now that we've talked about what you would do during your morning as a mom of toddlers, what are your kids doing? Routine is so important for your kids, and once you've been doing something for a few weeks and months, your kids will fall into line. Our kids can get used to any routine, and having a morning routine for them allows them to help out more around the house. Yes, toddlers can do chores, and learn how to be more independent while you get tasks done too. Coloring, Printable, and Toddler Learning Activities The night before, as part of my evening routine, I put out independent activities for my toddlers to do at the kid table we keep in the kitchen. I make sure to do this before the morning, so that while I get breakfast together and do some morning chores, they are independently occupied. They have plenty of time during the day to create their own play centers, but I think there is nothing wrong with some guided independent activities. I often just leave open-ended toys like blocks or magnet tiles on the table, or simply print out coloring sheets or printables to keep them busy. I have found that this is a great start to their morning. It gets their brains moving early and keeps their hands busy and keeps them under my feet. My kids love Play-Doh or kinetic sand, so this is often an option too. And since we've done this routine for the past few months, we've gone over the expectations, they know what not to do, and they know that mommy will put the toy away if they don't share or follow directions. Of course, we still have moments where markers go into the 18-month-old's mouth, The three-year-old takes the chair from his brother, and they make a bigger mess than expected, but most days, it's a great start. If you've never done a morning activity, I suggest starting with simple coloring sheets or printables and crayons. It's simple and easy to clean up and very low prep. But make sure you also add in time to teach them how and when to clean up and come to the table for breakfast. It may take a while in the beginning, but after the first few weeks, They'll know what to expect, and putting on the cleanup song helps signify the transition to the table. Easy Toddler Breakfast Ideas Obviously, a big part of the morning is getting everyone fed and breakfast cleaned up. So how do you make breakfast simple for your toddlers and serve easy and healthy breakfast ideas? My biggest tip is to keep breakfast simple. The weekends are a great time to cook up something more elaborate, but during the week, I love to have some simple but yummy go-to options. I spend time on Sunday batching some homemade waffles, pancakes, or muffins so we have a grab-and-go option. I use a simple breakfast chart so that anyone can make sure that they give the kids healthy and balanced breakfasts. This even helps my teenager get a good breakfast for himself, too. I like to make sure breakfast has a fiber-filled carbohydrate, like fruits or whole grains, and protein to keep them full. Having your kids get into the habit of eating at the table together will help them understand the process of mealtimes, 
and allows you to have more time in conversation. This is when you can have teachable moments about behaviors, talk and set up your day to let them know what's going to happen, and allow you to drink more of that coffee. After breakfast, create a good routine where they know they are to scrape their plate. We just taught my three-year-old this, and we're working on it with the 18-month-old. And everyone can put their dishes in the sink. You want them to realize that it's not mommy's job to clean up after everyone so that they can do it too. Our breakfast portion takes almost a full two hours, and by then it's time to go to school. I allow them to have 30 minutes to watch a TV show after we're done, and I use that time to clean up and get us ready and out the door. With a predetermined morning routine, I find the mornings fly by, but not in the I'm so stressed and it's so chaotic sense, but in the wow, that was quick way. Things are more smooth, though we have hiccups, and the predictability is great for all of us. You just listened to part two of the post titled Morning Routines for Moms of Toddlers by Kara Harvey of a purposedrivenmom.com. A lot of information to take in from Kara over these past two episodes, which we thank her so much for. A lot of really great insight here in this post for busy moms who have children of all ages, not just toddlers. Whether we are parents trying to make a routine or anyone else trying to make a routine, we often fall victim to focusing purely on efficiency. It's easy to do. After all, routines are often made to streamline things and make sure we get everything done that we need to get done. Kara does this, but she goes a step beyond by also making sure that the intangibles, more abstract, important parts of parenting are taken care of as well. This is important because this is the space in which you're able to keep your mood up and feel optimistic and not feel as though you're, you're a robot purely in task mode. Notice how she's sure to set time aside for herself and her own needs, which surely energizes her parenting. She gets up earlier than her kids, not just to physically prepare, but to mentally prepare and set her intentions. Notice how she makes a note of teaching the kids lessons and giving them space for conversation and interaction over the table. These types of things can get lost in the fray for parents. So if you are creating a routine for kids or just yourself, Just take some time to reflect on these special, yet harder to define or harder to measure aspects of your life that do need to be included, and be sure that they are. It's been a great week here on ORD, folks, and I thank you so much for joining me through it. We are all done now, so hey, go out, have a great, safe weekend, and know that I will be back with more relationship content for you on the other side of it. Hoping to see all of you back here on Monday with another inspiring post, another opportunity for you to learn, and of course, where your optimal life awaits.